Hello, my name is Stas. I'm a senior support engineer at TIPCO JasperSoft. And in today's video, I would like to talk about controlling report pagination via Visualize.js and JRIO JavaScript API. At first, I would like to have a look at the report design in JasperSoft Studio tool and the property that controls the pagination. If you look at the design XML file, it is specified at the top level XML tag Jasper report and the property is called is ignore pagination and you can see it right here and you can set it to true the default value is false in the design mode you can also see it if you click on the report file in the outline and the property is called ignore pagination in the property section when you publish your report to just report server whether or not report gets paginated in the output will depend on this property setting. Now, when you're rendering your reports with the API, for example, Visualize.js, you might have use cases when you want to have pagination setting different from what you have in your JASP report server. For example, you will have report rendered as one long page on the server, and then you want it to be split into multiple pages when embedded into your web app. Or alternatively, you wanted to have, for example, as one page when embedded in your web application, but then you also want to give your users an option to export report, the same report, but split it into multiple pages in PDF file, for example. We will look at how you can control this with Visualize.js API. I'm going to switch to this JS Federal code snippet, which I already have in place. It's rendering one of the sample reports. And as you can see, it's rendered with the default pagination setting, which is split into 47 pages here. If we want, for example, to render this report as one long page, I would go to this section where I'm calling the report, and I'm just going to add a property called ignore pagination and set it to true. False is the default. And now I just rerun the report and that will be enough. As you can see, it's rendered as one long page and these breaks are just group breaks. These are not page breaks. So we basically see instead of 47 pages, just one. And now we already have an export button implemented here and it will export the report to PDF. And when we add the ignore pagination property to the report call, it also gets applied to your export. So if I click export, you see the report gets also exported to PDF as one long page. If we go back and if we want to, for example, explicitly say to our code to export report in a paginated version, then we also need to add the same property to the export call. So here I'm also going to say ignore pagination, but this time I set it to false. And I will have to re-render the report so that the property gets applied to our call. And now, as we can see, the embedded report is still rendered as one long page, but when I click export, it this time the pagination is there and we have 47 pages again so next i would like to have a look at the same functionality in jrio library we will have a look at this report called first jasper it's one of the sample reports shipped with jrio library as you can see it is split in nine pages and we can click between pages here in the built-in viewer. So I will go to JavaScript API samples. I will open the export sample because this will be the best option to demonstrate this functionality. So right here we can see this first Jasper report is already embedded. It's also on JS Fiddle. And it is also split into nine pages. Now this code is a little more complicated, but the section where you insert the pagination property is the same when you when you just embedding your report. So we can do the 
ignore pagination and set it to true in our call. So this ambulance report should now render as one long page. And there it is. You can see the layout changed a little bit, but that's because of how the report is designed. And we see at the bottom that it, it is indeed just first of one pages. However, when we want to export the report in JRI or JavaScript API, the property, it is ignored basically. And if we try to edit here, ignore pagination false. So we do want to see the pages and we re-render it and we select export. This is still exported as one long page. And the reason is, as I just said, is because the property is not recognized for the export call. And this is specific to JRIO JavaScript API. This will probably work in the future versions of JRIO, but we don't have any specific details. So for the moment, the only way you can control the pagination during export is by explicitly specifying the pagination in the embedded rendering of your report. One last thing I wanted to bring up is that in the documentation, the properties specified for pagination during export are somewhat misleading. So if we open this guide and go to the API reference reports chapter and then look for section for exporting, exporting from report, you will see here that there are code snippets like this one. And right here, the guide tell us that in order to control pagination, we have to use property called paginated. And this may have been true for earlier versions of Visualize.js, but it's definitely not the case in the current versions. Please ignore this. You will have to use the property called ignore pagination. This will be fixed in the guides in the future versions of the products, but for now, use the property called ignore pagination and you should be good. This is it. Thank you for watching.